Congratulations, you're about to make an offer. Here's a quick Cliff Notes version of how to do so. Number one, as you get onto your platform to do your document, that's either DocuSign or DotLoop, you should have autofill capabilities, okay? What I mean by that is you should be able to quickly go through and do a uh, kind of a precursor um, contract offer, and then once you autofill certain windows, it's going to look like this. This is through DotLoop. It's going to be the similar thing through DocuSign. If you have additional questions, feel free to shoot me a note. But I want to do this so that you have something that's quick and handy to review. Number one, there should be the address at the top of each page, which should be completely spelled out. Next, make sure you click today's current date, the date that you're offering. There should be legal parameters such as a uh, partial number. Then a brief description of the home, three bed, two bath home located at the address. Purchase price, this is important. Make sure that there's a dollar sign here and that you spell it out like a check underneath. 1.1 1 .1 can be a, a, a bunch of different um, terms and conditions. So you would want to talk these over with the client before you get started. But this is where you would do things like bridge appraisal gap. This would be where you would waive remedy requests. This would be uh, where you would notify the person that you're an agent purchasing, etc. Attorney approval clause. This is if you're going to use an, an attorney to review. I typically don't recommend that because these contracts are written by attorneys. They're not going to change anything. Financing. If it's a cash offer, 3.1 is for you. If it's a financing offer, meaning they're going to use a loan and a lender, 3.2 is for you. You're going to want to initial these things. It should auto-populate initial boxes. You just need to assign who's going to initial them. One per buyer. If the people are married, both parties should sign the contract due to dower right in, in Ohio. If you have a pre-approval letter that you will submit, make sure that you notate this right here, buyer has delivered. If you don't have the pre-approval letter, not advised, go over here. Loan application, this is where you're going to formally file the loan with the lender. Sooner is better than the loan type, if it's FHA, conventional, etc. Typed in down here. The typical loan commitment time where the lender needs X number of days to commit to being able to lend, typically 25 days is safe. 25 days. I'm only going through this as a cliff notes. Uh, tax and assessments, you're normally not going to see anything here. So these stay blank. Fixtures and equipment, I always use the same verbiage here. Noted, all fixtures viewed in the home on the date that you viewed the home, including all kitchen appliances, light fixtures, and window hardware. That's the minimum that I write in. If there are additional things like washer and dryer, ring doorbell, security system, whatever it is that you want to stay in the house, notate those things. If there's anything that should be excluded, things like a security system, noted here. It should be listed in the A to A on the listing or in your conversation that you've had with the other side. Inspections and tests. A typically uh, valid time frame for inspection period should be seven days. You don't need longer than seven days. Now, if you're gonna be asking for things to be fixed, three days is pretty normal here. Or if you're not fixing anything, don't uh, not asking for anything, NA or zero. I prefer NA, not applicable. If you're going to ask for a home warranty, this is where you'd write that. First American home warranty or America's first, etc., with a minimum dollar amount. <clears throat> this is blank. We're ending up here. So if you're going to give earnest money, you're going to do it three days within contract acceptance, initial here, or after uh, remedy period, right here. If there's no remedy period, it's got to be up here. Write down your brokerage. Last pieces. Closing date. Final verification, two days prior to closing. And then possession. Make sure you're very clear. 
Lastly, contract is offered through this date. End time. Very important that you get all this stuff done. Not as important is this piece down here. Get, get the main gist of it. Uh, get the offer uh, as thoroughly written as possible and then make sure that your clients sign. Make sure you're talking them through this so that they know what they're signing and you're educating them through the process. Hopefully this has been good for you. Hopefully you know a little bit more about writing an offer. Thank you.